But we begin with the big story we broke right here on 7. Charges coming in the De La Salle football hazing scandal. Good afternoon. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. Seven people will be charged. Five as adults, two as juveniles, all facing possible jail time. And this all coming once a new parent of a football player came forward with new allegations after finding out last month that charges wouldn't be filed in the case. 7 Action News broke this story with a push alert this afternoon. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chaquette uncovering that information from his sources. He joins us live in Warren. And Simon, what are you learning now? Alan Glenda, parents sharing very strong emotions about this. We're talking about seven players being charged and very sharp allegations from prosecutors as well as the police here. It's a heartbreaking day. Um, this is a 93-year legacy for De La Salle. Warren police confirm St. Clair County prosecutors who took the De La Salle football case to avoid conflict of interest have approved charging five adults now 18 years old and two juveniles who were 16 at the time with assault and battery charges. The five adults will be arraigned in 37th District Court and two juveniles in probate court within a few days after they turn themselves into police. After months of heartache over hazing allegations, today parents venting their frustrations. We want to preserve this legacy and we're hurting with them. Um, we're hurting with all of our families today. We need transparency in our leaders. They allowed this to happen. It doesn't let the healing begin. So the positive side is that if a change is made, and that's what we're praying for, that healing can begin immediately. Multiple sources confirm there's two victims and new evidence that came to light when a parent spoke up a day after charges were first declined in January due to insufficient evidence. Prosecutors say school administration has refused to fully cooperate with them. There's been a lot of criticism um, about the school, how they handled it, and quite frankly, they, they did handle it very poorly. A group of 200 parents gathered recently to say new leadership is needed to preserve the legacy. After claims last November, varsity players allegedly used broomsticks in a sexual manner to haze younger players. Those charged face 93 days behind bars. Parents that did come forward and the uh, victims that came forward, we appreciate it very much. And certainly it's not our and, or the media's intent to acknowledge who those victims are. And it's not going to become public. It's just not going to happen. Now, De La Salle administration has put out a statement. Part of it reads, we have not been contacted by the prosecutor's office. The leadership at De La Salle Collegiate will continue to cooperate with local law enforcement and the prosecutor's office as they engage in this case. Our faculty, staff, and leadership team will continue to take appropriate action based on the facts around this incident and to ensure that it does not occur in the future. Alan, Glenda, we'll send it back to you. So, Simon, police sharing any information on the possibility of even more charges? Yeah, we asked about that specifically if administration could face charges of obstruction or anything of the sort for their role in this. And the commissioner telling us nothing is off the table at this point. All right, Simon, thank you for updating us there. And of course, you can follow all of the new developments in the De La Salle hazing scandal on our homepage on our website, WXYZ.com.